Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. So here's the registration table. Goodies be given away here. Our swag, our shirts, some shoes, our recycling bins here, and then our food table. We're here at, in the Fayetteville Town Center Conference Center. And uh, we'll check out a few other things as uh, the day progresses. This is day two of the conference. Okay, I'm here with Rusty, who uh, is the rep for Active Activate Canopy. And he's going to tell us a little bit about his product here and uh, some of the safety measures they're using uh, here during our COVID crisis. Hi, well, I'm Rusty. I'm actually the owner of Activate Canopy. Oh, okay. And um, we are really involved in the running industry. Running and soccer are probably our two biggest industries. And the experience that we have is that I also help run the operations for a traveling uh, 5K series. So I understand race directors and their needs and the uh, participant experience side so I know what it's like for someone to come to one of these races and you can use branding and use our products to help make your race stand out or more memorable which will in turn bring runners back to future races now our canopies are all um, dye sublimated on polyester fabric the frames are hundred percent serviceable so you never have to get rid of them if it bends or breaks you contact us and we'll help you repair them with our lifetime warranty but on top of that we're actually trying to innovate and make new products and think about, unfortunately, things in the COVID area like the safety walls that we produced that are a 45 inch clear, almost like a plexiglass wall that you can put up on the side of the tent, but you can still hand papers and work underneath it and still interact with people. It's not completely closing off the tent. And then the other item that we have that's new this year is what we call a sling top. We're actually gonna show it a little bit later, but it is a custom fit banner that covers one side of a tent. So if you have an unprinted white tent, or if you have a tent with some other logos, or maybe even a tent specifically for one race event, you can easily rebrand it to a new race or a sponsor, or maybe even marking it as a medical or a trainer tent. And you could do that by only replacing one side and the cost is about 125 bucks. So we're here to help out. We could do everything from start to finish line, tents, flags, arches. We do 100% of everything and we're involved in the running industry. We love it. Awesome. Well, thank you for the information. And if any directors, anybody in Michigan wants to use stuff, well, I got uh, the info right here. What is your, um, what's your website? The website, activatecanopy.com. Okay. Hello, everyone. Gary Morgan, the Michigan Runner. I'm here with Greg Stewart. He, he has an orbiter timing system. So he's going to tell me a few things about it here at the trail running conference and how all it works. It's a unique a system that is easy to use, and he's got a little video running, so he's going to tell me a few things about it. Okay, so what our system does is use side antenna technology so that you don't have to have mats, and you just roll it out and set it down and turn it on, and then there you go. Uh, here's what we call the spire, and the way that we create a line is that the radio waves emanate out off of this antenna at 45 degree angle like this and so on this edge we detect the tag and it creates a precise line you can go to our website and we actually have a video of um, somebody setting it up and um, that somebody is my daughter who weighs just over 100 pounds and she pulls it out of the car and boom there we go we have a second product that we call the sling and you can put anything you want on it, but it does the same. It's just in a portable backpack. And since we're in a trail run conference, this is easily transported up in the mountains. You can just wear it on your back and then take it to a waypoint or start finish. Can you, and so, can you, can you show me that? Yeah. Here. So, let's see. Here it is. Just, so what's inside it? How does it work okay. inside? Well, inside we have an antenna and then we have batteries, and we have an RFID reader. And the RFID reader is about this big. Oh. And so we put our own software code inside the reader that makes it a time detector control box and an RFID reader. And it's why it's so light and it's portable. It's very rugged too. Go ahead. Then it goes, and then the results can go right to your computer. Correct, and so the results 
go Wi-Fi over to your computer or data cellular up and then over to a computer, but it does not use the cloud. That's a very important part. It's a localized system, which means you at the event control it all. You don't have to worry about connections not happening. Um, and so worst case, you can just bring this over and uh, connect Ethernet and download it. But it automatically senses when it's in, within range, like Wi-Fi range, and just does it and make it happen. So you don't need to do IP addressing. Because of that, we rent these for $395 per event. So it can be very inexpensive and anybody you know, can do it. Um, Great. That's about it. And um, what is your um, um, address or uh, email on this? Okay. You go to info at orbiter, O R B I T E R dot com. Okay. Same as the space shuttle orbiter. Okay. I'll, I'll get a picture of your uh, automated trail run system by orbiter. And. Uh, Greg Stewart, uh, he's got a little film here going of um, the police department, uh, Port Authority, doing a little race in an indoor facility, and um, they're using the orbiter for timing, so kind of cool. Well, it's a great system, and uh, what is the cost of uh, your system? Well, um, the cost of the Spire is $7,995, but for your listeners, We'll give you a special deal of four thousand nine hundred ninety-five. Go on to help. You'll see how a hand washing station set up. The number one rule is you have to have continuous flow of water. Okay, so you would go in, get some water, get some soap. You know, you, you wash it, you know, rinse it. You got all this water going in there. You get your paper towel, dry off, and then you use that to turn off. Okay, simple hand washing station. Okay, the concept is here paper towels, seven gallon blue jug, dispenser to catch the gray water, and biodegradable soap. The gray water then could go into anything on the dirt. It is perfectly legal and fine to do that, okay? So anyway, that's your hand washing station, okay? So now that everybody is all washed up, 